everybody. Hello. How are you? Uh, well. I know. So. Go out and buy your scratch off. It's not three minutes early. All right. <laughs> well, I, I I forget that I set the lines up for 9.05 because I know I'm always late. Uh, so I saw it was 9.02. I'm like, oh, I'm late. So like, I'm actually early. So yeah, go buy a scratch off. Go play Mega Millions. Uh, you might hit tonight. Um, how's everyone? Addy, how are you doing? Wicked? I'm, I'm good. I went... Okay. We're not playing with this camera nonsense. When saw my aunt tonight. Mm. But other than that, life is good. Out of yourself? I'm doing good. All right. Good. I made a very super cute uh, Easter wreath, and it's got little bunny ears, and it's super cute. Very nice. Uh, if Brooklyn Girl makes it up here, I'm sure hers will be better than yours because the Easter's a big deal there. Uh <laughs> Well, you know, I figure if I'm crafting, then, you know, maybe I'm not spending my money on Amazon. There you go. <laughs> That's hair. All right. So let's say hi to everybody. And then we have some stuff to go over. And then we'll get into the show. And there will be an after show tonight. Ooh, there will be. Woo, um, woo. I just have to know. Happy birthday, Tony Ann. And by the way, thanks for everybody who attended the slumber party. Um, oh, I haven't posted yet. It got, um, hold on, uh, Cody is summoning me. I felt bad that I dropped down. I just had a god awful headache. I'm so sorry. Ugh. Uh, I get those too. I didn't know what, I didn't know that's what they were. Wait, who did you just wish happy birthday? Like migraine was. Oh. Um, is that Tony Ann's it's Tony Ann's birthday too. It says happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to oh MTT. Oh MTT. Oh okay. I was like, dang. All right, two on one day. March has been a busy month for Shay Yates. Yeah, uh, yesterday was my oldest niece's birthday. Well, happy birthday to your oldest niece as well. Yes. Um, so Kegs so, and A. Uh, yeah. So if you missed the slumber party, you missed because uh, we got into some. You can thank Julie for it. So never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you learned a lot about me. It turned. I don't like saying it turned south because it means that means like it turned. It went like bad. It just it went a different direction. Uh, <laughs> did he do uh, That's a slumber party. That's why we all, we only have them like once every two years. So uh, I'll schedule. I'll pencil you guys in for like 2026 when we have the next one. Um, but let me tell you to everybody, cousin Joe. Yeah, hi. I just posted no, it to mine. No wine, Mal, Miss Optimistic, Jewel, Franca, Sheila, Roxanne C, Tony Ann, Ellie, Mary Barcelona, B B B Babe, B Babe. Welcome. B -babe. Videos. B Babe. Steven, Mia Clark, Barbie, Another Johnny fun Mac, set. Jules, Mia's mommy, Mia Clark. Ruth Ann. Ruth Ann just had a birthday yes, a few days birthday. ago. Happy birthday, Ruth Ann. Happy birthday. Hip Squeak. Lisa loves her pup. MTT, the birthday girl. Mel B. Crystal. Mel B. Cajun Brandy. Uh, Barbara M. Roro. Roro. Ro. Rabbit of Chaos. Ro, Ro. Coffee loves my company. And Coins and Shana Shauna. Tanya. Uh, <laughs> Wendy H. Uh, like, no, she won't I, tell me. She she loves she loves this girl, man. She loves it. Uh, uh, Shana Shana, no? uh, Shana Shana. Bridget Bridget Glasgow, Vixie, uh, boop, 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 Crystal Brooks Nose, Addy, uh, do, 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 Lisa W, M W, and I think we're I think we're good. All right, so. Uh, on then we have over on my channel, no one is talking. Oh. <laughs> Since there's four people, but no one's it's talking. Okay. Hi, four oh. people. Hello. <laughs> we, are airing channel. We're, we are airing this on both of me and Addie's channel. So uh, hello over there to Addie's side. And <laughs> um, what else do I have to say before we start the recap? Happy birthday, MTT. It's not too late to still get her a gift if you want to. Her Amazon wish list is still on my community tab. Let me see what else do I have to say. In other 90 day re uh, 90 day fiance related news, Ashley, my old buddy, uh, oh, okay. got engaged. So, From Ashley and Jay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
congratulations. Okay. And I have to say, I mean, I haven't, I have, me and Ashley haven't talked in four years since our falling out, but I have to say, I'm very happy for her that she looks amazing. Um, she looks really, really good and she looks happy and um, I'm really happy for her. So good. Congratulations to Ashley. And also, which will come up in our, during our recap, um, hey, Catherine's passions um, that Emily and Kobe just had their third baby, I guess, either today or yesterday. So uh, someone said in my comments, well, Ash, um, uh, Ashley, uh, what's her name? Uh, Emily is very good at making babies. I'm like, well, at least she's good at something then. I don't, I don't know. Uh, so Yeah, they're, they're she's good. what, number three? Girl, you are never leaving that basement. Stop popping those kids out, honey. Like, you know, <laughs> God. <laughs> Mal, yes, I made you a mod, and um, Stephen is now a mod over there. Okay. Okay, um, I think that's all I have. Let me see, anything else? Old Gracie has to be saying, she's saying hello to all of her peeps. <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> Let me see something else. Oh, um, other 90 Day Fiance related news. Lita Margarita, who's facing three felony charges and a misdemeanor. Will be she deported? Some court, uh, some new court evidence came to light today. Okay. And, um, it looks like the DA added some um, additional information, proof, evidence to the case, and oh. Lita's attorney dropped her like a bad habit. Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Snap. I wonder you. where they got their referral. <laughs> Just say it. So uh, I knew I had something else uh, to say. Yeah. So uh, Lita, Lita's, Lita's attorney said, peace, bitch, I'm out. And um, good Just luck like with that. Just like the other one. So <laughs> there you go. Oh, you know, I already feel yeah. so much better. Um, <laughs> really okay. Note to self. Don't take uh, referrals from Google. Note to self. Don't, don't, get a don't be a felon. Easy Another well documented, yes. And you know, I mean, she uh, from the medical the medical doctor, uh, just so sad. Uh, you know, don't rob companies that you work for and, and do illegal wiretaps, and then you won't be in this position. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Very but, true. Um, very, very, very all the facts. <sighs> so, um, with that being said, I knew I had something else. All right. So let's get into the recap. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> let's get into the recap. And um, uh, and then don't forget, if the after show will be middle tier, 90 Day Fiance level and up, and it'll be right after this live end. So let me play my little intro. I'll be watching. And then we'll begin. <laughs> MTT, we got an intro for me. MTT is my creative director. Uh, so <laughs> I think we need a new intro. If you were moving up in this world, you have your, you know, Yates Action News well, team. That, that intro is from like you have a publicist. Well, I have my I have my press secretary, which is Susie Q. Where is my press secretary? I have to yell at her. Where is Susie Q? You're not supposed to yell at your press secretary. Um, hello, have you met me? Um, <laughs> yell at everybody. <laughs> MTT, I just request the last dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> That's all I care about. No, I'm but that intro is my head. Uh, Lord. Okay. Yes. Who's my, wait, who's my new, wait, who's my new moderator that I don't know? With a wrench. So that's my ma mod. That's Mal. Oh, I was like, okay. You got yes. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> You'll see names that that I, I've got people. There's actually people in the chat. Most yes. of them are your people. No, so guys, my, <laughs> my sound is really, really low because, I, as you can see, I still have no laptop. Uh, 
we gotta wait for that YouTube check to come in so I can so I can remedy that. So uh, I'm still on my iPad. So I'm sorry. It's just that this is. The I'm best just impressed thing. you haven't got kicked off yet. Off what? Off here because oh, as you well, know, when you jinx it. or halfway, it's <laughs> all about Brooklyn. Then I don't have a computer to raise the volume on. This is it. All this is all I get. Yeah. This volume. is it. Volume, whatever you want to say it. Yeah. Just stick your face way up close. To <laughs> oh. Jules, you ain't kidding, girl. I need to like hit up Best Buy like post haste, man. Uh, but yeah, so just deal with me. When we get paid, it'll be fixed. All right, so happily. All right, here we go. Um, hello, hello, hello. Um, all right, so let's see. Should we just go in order? Sure. Yes. This was yes. a kind of a yawnsy episode. It was. It gave you like a lot of background, and um, it, still yeah. took, it still took me four hours to get through it. But uh, you know, it is what it like, is. I didn't right. take notes on it. I counted on you too. Good, I did. Uh, no, I, I did just too. talked into my phone. But it was like you <laughs> almost know, word for word. Just speaking all caps. I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't speak louder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I really, I literally have like, like the iPad is like a hand away from me. I, I have it like on me as close as it could possibly be without like you just seeing up my nostrils the whole time. So, uh, yeah, like we tried to, we tried to put a mic into it, but I, my iPad doesn't have a USB port. I don't think any of them do, but, uh, so you don't, and you don't have, um, uh, I, uh AirPods. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> John, you do. You have the ones that plug in. At John, the blow your nose. What? Am I, am I, well, I have allergies. God, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Y'all coming hard. Y'all coming in. And that's for my brother. Y'all coming in hot. <laughs> Good grief. <sighs> so how is everybody out there? Everybody in the chat? Y'all good? We are good. Um... <laughs> I thought I had something really important to say, but I guess I don't. Yeah, Catherine's passions. John can't turn his volume up anymore. We're aware that he's low. It's his iPad and nothing we can do about it. So, someone type that in the Very chat. Sorry. Catherine passions. <laughs> if I type in the chat, it might type as John, not me. Because I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I got the the picture remedy fixed. He, I'm no longer him. I'm my own person now. So that's one good thing that I learned. <laughs> Mel B, check your messages. Who? Me? No, Mel B. All right. So Emily and Kobe, here we go. Uh, I well, like them a lot. <laughs> What's there really this they didn't really they didn't really give us anything more than what we already know, other than that, like you know, they're still in the basement. Uh, uh true, still in the basement. Um, apparently making enough money to go to Cameroon, but not enough for first and last month's rent. I don't know if they're like trying to avoid the rent and just buy a house. Sorry, I forgot my camera went on if they're like trying okay we're not gonna move out we're gonna save the money that we would have spent on rent and we're going to buy a house versus they're going to go out and just rent something i i, I think they're comfortable there honestly I, I i you know and if you know if they're Thank really you, serious i think about getting out of there they maybe would stop having children i mean you know what do they think is going to happen every time they pop another one out it's going to get cheaper to move out well, I mean, you know, <laughs> it, it's super easy. Mom and dad are there. Hey, can you watch, you know, kid while I run down, you know, to this or that? Yes. And, you know, I mean, it's nice that um, the whole the whole family is going to Cameroon, which, you know, is a very daunting flight. Six hours to Detroit. Well, three hours to the airport, which is like a long way to get to the airport. 
uh, then six hours to Detroit, then what, 19 and hours to Paris, hour. and from another six hours from Paris and to Cameroon, an and like right. a four hour donkey ride once they get to Cameroon. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, I, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and then the whole family's going. That that seems like that would be a very, very, very expensive trip. Very. Well, maybe they, you know, the the amount of buying a house. <laughs> you know, like do like do do like do like do the kids pay, like to, for the air the airline seats, or like do they pay half price? Like no, they're they're still paying for their seat. I know that it used to be that the airlines that if you held your child on your lap, that you didn't have to pay airfare, but the kid has to be in their seat at landing and takeoff. So regardless of if Junior's sitting on your lap or not, they still have to sit there during takeoff and landing. And they book that same seat to two different people, the baby and like some other person, right? Or right. Not. But the FAA up... Uh, changed it to where kids have to stay in their seats during takeoff and landing. So it really doesn't matter if you hold them or not, you're still getting charged for the takeoff and landing. Emily's father's got to make good money to keep this household going. Um, and yeah, like um, the, the, the amount of luggage that way, you know, what do you get? Like one carry on, yeah. not even anymore. Like, And they're from Salinas, to... Kansas, right? Huh? Kansas. They're in Kansas. Okay, so looked like they were actually moving to Cameroon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's what I said to John. I'm like, <laughs> so I'm having a hard time believing that they're really struggling to get out of the basement when this is like a very grandiose like trip. Plus, like, you know, they've been plus that really came up high pitch. Uh they they, <laughs> they heard that one. They Emily heard that one. Uh plus, like, you know, they're on pillow talk, you know, so They've been on the show for a, a bit now. It's, you know, I know TLC doesn't pay much. Yes, I see your, your I guess, Catherine, I see you. I know TLC doesn't pay much, but, you know. So it's like, even like booking way in advance, it's still like $2,000, $2,100 a person. Oof. And mom and dad, they're toting mom and dad along. Um, That's six people. Yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So... Yeah. Two months rent. Catherine, yes, we see your messages and he can't speak up because of the volume. And there you go. Uh, so you two better that? bring in some dollar bills this month. Yeah, seriously. Cash <laughs> out the rolling. Start sending. Uh, uh. <laughs> so my favorite part of that whole sequence when they were at the table, but are, we, are we getting there now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, is when he was telling her, you know, my fam my family's not going to really like your your was it type A personality? <laughs> oh, the whole that whole part right there. Just, it, I said uh, she's she f feels that it's nerve wracking thinking about meeting his parents. She wants everything to be perfect for the first time they meet, and she just wants to be ex accepted by them. But I mean, I don't think she's going to be all up in there. I mean, come on. She's going to be. You're, how many months in are they? And now you're, what, three kids deep in? And you're afraid mom and dad ain't going to like you? Should have thought about that two kids ago. Thank you. Not all the time, MW. And I, I highly doubt. Because sometimes they pay and sometimes they don't. And I doubt that TLC paid for, like, this whole big thing. I don't know. They might have given something towards it. Like, you know, it's weird how, you know, I I don't know. I don't know. Um, but from the scenes from next week or in the upcoming, you know, the season, it seems like they're having a good time over there in Cameroon. Yeah. Dancing and, um, but, you know, the funny thing was like, you know, oh, by the way, uh, Cameroon's in a civil war. That's always fun to know when you're visiting a foreign land. By yeah, the way. Of course. <laughs> By the way, the French, the French speaking part of Cameroon and the English speaking part of Cameroon um, hate each other and they're at civil war. But don't you worry. We'll right. just I mean, it's OK. We have to go through, you know, maybe a minefield or two. <laughs> most of the bomb, you know, most of the IEDs are so far outdated that they're not going to go off. 
Yeah, those are like from like when Stalin was in office. Like, don't worry about those old ones. <laughs> Kids aren't heavy enough to set those off or anything. It's a, it's a one, one yeah. in ten chance that those old mines will go off anyways. Like, you know, it's fine. Um, oh shoot, what was I going to say something else, too? Um, damn it, I had a good point. <laughs> you threw me off with the mines. <laughs> Sorry. Me and my crazy num numberness, <laughs> I went and wrote down how long it would take to get there. <laughs> three hours, but what is it? Three hour drive to Kansas City, one and a half hour flight to Detroit, nine hour flight to Paris, and six hour flight to Oh, Canada. yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't, so, don't oh. forget that. He was like, oh, and by the way, don't go to the store on a Monday because it'll get it'll get torched. Yeah, true. You know, <laughs> <laughs> all very important things. Hey, we're having a civil war and we can't go to the store on Monday. By the way, I hope you don't need a tampon or some bread on Monday because, <laughs> uh, well, Emily doesn't have to worry about tampons, clearly, because she just popped, she just keeps popping the babies out. So, but uh, anywho, uh, yeah, um, don't go on Monday. Wait, wait. Wait till Tuesday, because uh, and then stock up all the way to next Tuesday. The, the rebels might come and get you uh, if, if that's the case. <laughs> oh, I remember. It reminded me of remember Avery uh, with Omar the dentist. Yeah, I like them. Uh, they are a couple that I wish would be on Pillow Talk or Happily or one of those. It just reminded me when Avery's first season, and like she wanted to go to Syria. Like at the height of like ISIS control, yeah, you know. And like, no, you know what? Syria is great. You know, just just don't mind them ISIS people. Like, you know, yeah, it's it's fine. Just tip like, them; they won't like it. you know behead you or anything. Just you know, throw them a twenty. That's what it reminded me of. Okay, so um, I think we're good with them, right? Like, is there anything else that we have to cover with them? There wasn't really a lot except for just yeah. getting there. It, it was pretty much a lot of fluff with them. I mean, yeah. all of it was a lot of fluff. Thank God we don't have to cover Angela tonight, though, because I didn't have it in me. I was waiting. I'm like, oh, please don't let them show Angela and Michael this episode. I don't have the strength. Um, yeah, so. I was <laughs> one. Yeah. It seemed like they could have put a little bit more in this episode than what they did. Yeah, but you know what? For the first one, like, I haven't committed to this in a while now and so i'm good you know i'm good with it for right now i was hoping to show lauren and alex the first episode but it seems like they're showing they're, they're waiting this to, they're waiting for the, to save the old timers so sophie and um rob okay so were they on like let the season that just ended yes okay so i know we covered like the last part of that tell all but like i really know nothing about them so what's the deal with sophie and rob Okay, so when Sophie first, they met, of course, you know, they love each other. When they came here, oh, who is the one chick she was with? Um, ew, 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 ew. She was with, um, he was on with you, you did an interview with him. Colton, Cole, oh, Col huh? Colt, the South American dude, uh, uh, Tiffany's one. No, South American. Who did I do an interview? You with? don't like the girl. She was messing with the one dude in Connecticut who, oh, holy shit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have <laughs> the show. No, no, no. Are you okay? <laughs> no. All right. Who is the one guy? Oh, Sinjin. Oh, Sinjin. 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 Thank you. Okay. Somebody, uh, Kendra in the chat. You said South America, oh, not South Helen. Africa. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. Yes, I can't say it. So, okay, and I so. Did the with Sinjin. Yes, okay. Yes, yeah, so yeah. Rob, a la Sinjin, like lived out in the shed, in the she shed in the back, but she shed didn't even have the bathroom. Like, if you need wait, to go wait, to the wait, bathroom. So she put him out in a she shed too? Yes, like you got to go, what? but no running water, no bathroom. You need to go outside and hang a left to hit to the potty. He, it was and a one like, shack thing. Yeah, and oh, by the way, I'm bisexual. 
she like right before the wedding, she drops the bomb, yeah. which it wasn't at first. He went, they went, oh, yeah, like we, we get to. <laughs> you can see his little mind going, oh, she just yeah. dropped. The yeah, usually yeah. From, you usually can kind of see guys. like he's kind of excited, but not. Yeah, and he's like, you know, he didn't want to be too excited. Not a turn off <laughs> for straight guys. It's like, oh, bisexual. He's already thinking of like you know some like right. going on with some. Little, yeah. uh, he's hoping. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> And like there's scenes from like you know were they happy like was was Rob like douchey no he was he, like was he okay he kind of I think he just like Instagram cheated you know he applied he responded some kind of spicy messages and she wasn't happy but I don't whatever's going on with her hair whether it's in real life. I don't know if it's a wig. I, I don't know what it is. Um, Horrible. It. She's losing her hair. I think she may have already lost it. And this, it's why it, it went from her hair to now she has a wig. But she's but they haven't said anything. She's I young. saw it. I saw a thing on it, but it hasn't been announced yet by her okay. or whatever. So it's, I don't know if it's rumor, which I'm going to say it's rumor because until she says it, but I think there's some hair issues. Yeah. And, you know, Rob's kind of like, okay, I cheated. Forgive me and get over with it. And the mom isn't his biggest fan. And he's always like, well, you know, we've already discussed this. We're already past it. Why are we discussing it again? Well, because you're on a tell all and you go back through the season and you have to. So I'm surprised he went for the happily simply because they just finished the season and he wasn't. Well, yeah, he's like telling her mom, like, get over this. We discussed this, you know, three months ago. I'm over it. And um, is, why are Ed and Liz on Happily? Why are Angela and Michael on Happily? Uh, who else is? Who's oh, doing? yeah. Uh, there's somebody, there's another couple that's Party pretty City much doomed. <laughs> um, uh, but, Party you know, City wig. Yeah, it's like, and she comes from money. Um, she grew up very affluent. I think she, the whole boarding school, the whole, and he grew up very poor. Um, I love how the Party City wig thing is still a thing, like, all these years later. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> um, but, you know, and, like, he well, got yeah, mad. Rich, right? Like, I didn't watch that season. So yeah. She, she's time. very affluent, and he was very poor. And basically, like, hey, yo, biatch you should be happy i got you a she shed without running water at least it's a place i can call my own so do, are people more on his side or her side where's the consensus i haven't oh, where's the scale more hers but then people are like you're kind of entitled i think what we're gonna find out is that she's actually kind of uh, she won't let it go He's yeah. apologized and apologized and apologized, and he has. And she, yes. every time she sees him. Now, remember, they, they were got married, and then they came over, or, and then they moved to Texas from L.A. Mm -hmm. So now they're all in Texas, and she. Too Wait, I thought that he. I thought that he was in L.A. still, and she's in Austin with like okay that no. situation with no. her friend. Like you know, there's some like light to heavy scissoring. Oh, I kind of think something oh, happened. I'm thinking heavy. <laughs> like, like, definitely, like, not light, medium to heavy scissoring going. And I'm thinking out. strap on action. Oh, you know? my. oh, wow. yeah. We're not so talking. Wicked. You know, she's Ooh. past the light scissoring to Whoa. strap on. Whoa. So when he, when they, when they, at the point when she's <laughs> in, in talking to one. Kay, oh, wow. her name is Kay, I believe it was Kay. She's talking to Kay. They had already been separated for two months, right? Isn't that what what she said? So yes. Yes. So to and then he arranges and then we'll move on from there. What they do after that, but yeah, I kind of think that uh, I I just have this feeling that there's going to be this storyline that comes from the three of them. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm not I'm all, I'm I'm not no mad I, at it. Listen, I know this show. <laughs> if it happens, it happens. That's certainly within the realm of possibilities, you know, especially with this show. But uh, <laughs> and I mean. I, she doesn't get past it. I mean, he has genuinely, uh, you know, apologized. And she keeps bringing it up. So, like, she, he's moved forward. But 
it's like she's still stuck. But like, she oh. married him, right? Like, you know, yes. Okay, she knew this all before she said, I do, correct? Yes. Yes. Well, then, like, that's on you. Exactly. You yeah. shouldn't have married him. Then. But I, I love her, and I, but I love him, but I love her, but, but I love, like, okay. you know, and again, don't, don't shoot, don't shoot me. I didn't, I didn't watch last season, but like, you know, if you accepted his apology and you decided to then marry him, you know, and I don't, I don't have a dog in this fight. I don't know either of them, but, but like, if you married him, then like, you know, then you should move on. Sure. And like but if you right. to bring it up in his face over and over again, isn't kind of right. She, I think, I think what she wants is she wants every time they see each other for him to kiss her rear. That's what, yeah, <laughs> that's what I. She do. wants the run into you know the slow mo into the arm. He picks her up and twirls I'm a horrible around human as they passionately kiss. I am a horrible human being. I did a horrible thing. I am so sorry. Just stamp that on your forehead and walk in the room and go. <laughs> that's because that's what she wants. She wants and that then, apology. She's also like, how do I say this about him? You know, like when she mentions anything remotely concerning money, he gets mad because she's entitled. Like when they were living in LA and she was like, I thought you would at least buy a duvet. And wow, he's freaking out. A, he didn't know what a duvet was. So it's like, okay, won't you Google duvet before you get all flipped out? And I'm sorry, my husband's deciding to do pots and pans right now and throwing them all over the friggin'. <laughs> he just broke a plate. I don't that's why I said like <laughs> thanks, Cody, for doing dishes. Well, like you know, I I'm just I didn't know how to close my sink is to like this. So it's like, you know, thanks, Cody. You can smack him on the rear end right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, every time it's you know, hey can we do this or, you know, maybe can, you know, well, you know, I'm sorry, you know, I'm not made a hundred, you know, I'm not made of money. I'm not wiping hundred dollar bills in my ass, but she, you know, and sometimes he just needs to calm down. The mom doesn't seem like she's like, you know, was the mom on last season too? Yeah. Yeah. She hates him. Like she's going she calls him. Little... She has a name for him. His name is Rob the knob. Yeah. And he's like, yo, why? Why you got to call me Rob the Knob? That's not nice. Is that how my you're supposed to talk to your son-in-law? I mean, I wouldn't be happy if my mother-in-law called me Rob the Knob. No. Uh, my mother-in-law has called me a lot worse, actually. So uh, I, I, maybe I would tell for Rob the Knob. <laughs> <laughs> Cody's in there giggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, his, her mom does say a lot of negative bad about him. And, I mean, she really needs to say mom you know you i'm married to him you gotta stop or like cut him a little bit of slack for two days like 24 like i still feel like that's so young to get married your 20s are for a living this isn't the 50s anymore you don't need to get married at 19 20 21 yeah. 22 like i know i got married at 24 to you i'll be right back and you were lucky to marry me at 27. And you were lucky to um i was 32 i lived my 20s this is too pretty, I was 23 when I met my husband, and he was oh, only, I lived my he was barely 20. Uh, <laughs> I was retired. In my he, he was young. I thought he was 30, but he still has a problem with that. Your 20s are for living. Like that's when you get all that stuff out. You go to college. You're, you, you know, you're young. You're having fun. You're going out, and then you settle down. It's not like, hey, Anna. It's not like you know the '40s and the '50s anymore, where you have to get married like right out of high school. It's I, I, I see young people get married. And I'm like, oh, like be together. Don't get married yet. Like have fun. Whatever. Oh. Well, it's so not like him. <laughs> depends on your what your parents tell you. You have to do. Right. <laughs> so I mean, raised that way. <laughs> married now. <laughs> you know, and no. it's like these people, you know, they're starting relationships on Instagram and, you know, oh, well, we FaceTime all the time. Well, guess what? When you meet that person, maybe they're a jackass in person. That's true. Then you, you know, oh, but we still need to marry him because I told him I loved him on FaceTime. I told him I'd get married. I, gave I, do, him I do kind of like that, like, I really don't know much about them because I'm, at least I'm not going into the season so hateful as I usually am, knowing sure. everything about everybody. 
So at least there's a little mystery yeah. there somewhere. I mean, you know, uh, it's like, okay, here's your ring. All right. So we now we now have my wedding ring. It's beautiful. And like, okay, what is that place they went to? Like the selfie store? Like where you selfie just gallery. What gallery. the hell is that? Like they actually pay, I've like actually people, seen those around. People actually people go to them. Pay money take, to walk in there and take selfies, like with yep. like flower walls that said yep. like hello gorgeous. Like you you yeah. people pay money. Hmm. Listen, I know a I'll, family I'll, that open, I'll open up Shea Yates right now. Uh, twenty bucks a pop. <laughs> they do have those. You can you, actually. All you want. You can take. I want a picture with the screen door. No, we charge twenty five. Well, yeah, we're gonna. Well, if for the cat, twenty five. Uh, you know. <laughs> what about uh, the screen door? I need a picture with the screen door. Yeah, well, listen, that's that's thirty dollars. Wicked. Uh, oh come on! <laughs> I thought we were friends. I've never seen anything like that before. People actually pay money to go in these places yeah. so they can take selfies yeah. by a phone booth. Bitch, there's a get find a phone booth outside. Like, <laughs> no. But what if it's raining? Find something else. Where are you gonna find flowers taped to a wall? At outside. Florida, Florida. Oh wait. I can, I, can, I can go to Shoprite right now. Buy like a, a five dollar bouquet of carnations, tape them to a wall, take a picture to it next door. <laughs> Boom, problem solved. I mean, and don't forget all those selfie sticks that, you know, those people ran to the bank with who probably aren't selling them now. It's just wild to me. Like, now, hold on. Thing. Gotta get my selfie stick. Okay, there we go. <laughs> like, this is a thing that people pay money for to take selfies. Like, I, In a I, selfie area. Like, <laughs> I'm surprised the boardwalk doesn't have one, John. I'm serious. The day the boardwalk puts up is the day I, I burned the boardwalk down again. <laughs> Uh, like like 2013 fire. I, well, I wasn't in charge of that, but like I will burn the boardwalk down at the day that happens. Us Jersey is much smarter than that. But I guess if you're if you're you know next to water, you don't really need a selfie gallery. <laughs> well, I'm sure somehow Kim Kardashian's making revenues off this because it says selfie. Wait, does Kim Kardashian own selfie? The word? I don't. Have I don't think. So. I. Don't think so, but I think she was the one who coined it. I don't know. I can't imagine paying like, that like American dollars to walk into a place <laughs> so I could take pictures. <laughs> like, I'm <laughs> sorry. Like, I can't. <laughs> now, like, axe throwing, I can get behind. Uh, like, you know, that I always wanted to do because they have a couple of axe, axe throwing bars here. And, like, you know, alcohol and axes. You know, listen, that's my type of place. I can do that. But how a serial killer hasn't been found from that is beyond me. They do. Have, I mean, I've seen some other places where they have like an upside down room. So the room, the, the bed is stuck on the Thank ceiling. Thank you, Pineapple. Oh, wait, wait. I, I love you. Too. I found an instrument. Um, I threw out my desk because it was too big. So now, um, never mind. But pineapple, final donation for the flowers. I want to be the first to get a selfie at Shea Yates. Yes, listen, we're opening it up soon. Um, it'll be like, you know, take a picture with Georgie, take a picture with Hope. Um, you can take a picture with Cody cooking. Um, you can take a picture with the, when the police come here for a welfare check. Like, we got you covered. <laughs> You well, I mean, I think, you know, you should, because with the chair and Georgie, that's like 50 bucks. Yes. You I know, sit say, in the chair, Georgie on the back. The and, selfie with the police is limited VIP exclusive area. That's like going to cost you a hundred. Okay. Uh, for the yeah. police to do it. And Officer uh, Hershey. Yes, yes. If you can get Officer Hershey, that's a thousand dollars. Right. Right. You know, and you know, please help support your local police department. And that's all. <laughs> and all proceeds will go to me and not the police. So, um, you know, it goes there anyway. They might need some coming. more people during the. Ooh, yeah. Be like strippers. Hello. Uh oh, we have breaking news. Breaking I news. Don't, I don't know if this is legit or not. Oh, Lord. Hold on. We did it. Hold on. Win. Jules just sent me something. We have breaking news. I don't know if it's legit or not, though. Because this, this website that isn't always a hundred. But hold on, let me get my let me get my thingy here. Hold on. 
brand. Um, Can I just? Say what? <laughs> no, I can wait. I mean, how rude of me to interrupt breaking news. <laughs> okay, so um, allegedly Colt was Colt Colty was Colty. caught cheating on Vanessa. Oh, big surprise! I mean, did anyone see that coming? If it's true, I don't. I, I don't want to see that. Like, no, I, no. <laughs> oh. Colty I must be Vanessa. amazing. In <laughs> We've seen the red shirt picture, Wicked. There's no way. There is no amazing. No way. I mean, maybe Girl. he's got a tongue that won't quit. I don't know. But there has to be something. Uh, well, with all the stuff that he's not working with, the tongue should be his best asset. Like, you know, he should be a giver is what he should be. Is, well, I mean, you okay. know, maybe he is because he was afraid that that would never happen. You know, hey, not so Great right here, so. Oh, so there's pictures of Colts on Tinder. Ooh. Ooh. I bet. Oh, why do I do that? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh. Tinder though, but Tinder is like a. No married okay. person should be on Tinder. What is Tinder? Well, and it's just like a scammer's paradise. A dating website. site. No, if anybody's married, they shouldn't be on a website. Period. I mean, that's just common. Well, true. Not unless like you have an agreement with that person, but I don't see that happening with that. But Oof. I mean, like, I don't know what to say on that. Is he still a big boy? Of course he is. Well, I don't know. I, did, I don't. And he's still got that long hair. I mean, his Does hair is really? longer than Vanessa's. At this <laughs> point. Say, no, Does he still have that oh, my God. beard? Yep, he still has the beard. Wait, I'm gonna blow my nose before my brother yells at me again. Hold on, allergies. I can't believe Ugh. it's not for my rip roaring cocaine addict, which uh, cocaine addiction. Hold on. I have, I have, I have uh, the, I, the pollen is pollinating, and I told you all I'm gonna be like this from March to May. No, it really is. You could look at the cars, and they have you, like you that. could look at my house. I have a trail of tissues everywhere. Well, that you can see how, <laughs> how the cars are. Right. Everywhere, like in the bed, like in on the couch, I have tissues everywhere. There's a roll of toilet, like toilet oh. paper in each room. Pollen is my is my worst enemy. Um, but and it sucks right. because I keep the windows open. I mean, I like you know, and room. Vanessa knows. That's you know, the, we 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 could do a whole different live about this, and I really don't want to. We should probably save this until tomorrow. Yes. but like you know, yes. Vanessa knew what she was getting herself into because when she was. Talking to Colt for the first time, he was still married to Larissa. So, do you want me to feel bad yeah, for you, was. Vanessa? No, I don't. I don't. No. I do not. And Vanessa also knew. I mean, like Colt's history with women. Lord, when Colt was on this season six, like you know, I would be putting all the messages that he got from other ladies up in there. So, like, are we supposed to feel bad? I don't feel bad for Colt nor Larissa. I'm sorry. Um, right, because did sorry, he... no, I'm sorry. I don't not feel Larissa, bad. Not Larissa. I, I don't feel bad for Col Colt nor Vanessa. Not Larissa. You know, um, <laughs> Vanessa Larissa. was the side piece when he was on with the second chick who dumped him and got married. Yeah. Oh Jess. no, Je oh, Jessica. Yeah, mm -hmm. Jessica. So you know, I mean, you knew what you were getting into. So like, what? Yeah, it's no surprise. I mean, maybe. This is like the way they keep it spicy. Like, hey, I'll be the wife, but can you still treat me like the side piece? And, you know, we'll get your passion. I still talk to True. He's my buddy. He's a good guy. Funny thing about me and True was like, he hated me. <laughs> he was going to be death threats. <laughs> he was actually pretty cool, I thought. He is pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. Who uh, is True? I don't know True. I mean, that, okay, no, that uh, was Vanessa's ex. Lord. Oh, okay. That was 20. 18 six oh, jesus christ six years ago god damn isn't that crazy i've been doing this too long <laughs> i really have holy crud six years ago but uh true is a great guy and you know vanessa left him to be with colt and now you know vanessa you reap what you sell <laughs> sorry i have i have absolutely no sympathy for you whatsoever and <laughs> there you go you kind of home wrecked him and him and Larissa, my words. 
my my opinion. Did and she have another boob job? Who cares? Well, I just <laughs> she posted a picture somewhere, and it was like I don't like this light, but it it seemed very new. Like is there them girls are sitting up here, and I realized that you know. I mean, have we seen Jasmine's transformation? Like from like, you know, we should put a, a side by side of when Jasmine was first on the show compared to now. Oh, we're okay. getting wait till we get <laughs> I was I kept saying she's no Larissa. She's no Larissa. I even showed my head. No, but look, she, look, she, she is look like at Larissa, Larissa compared to she is. Like, you know, she's oh she's loud and a little off the rails. And I love Larissa to death. We've been buddies for a long time, I'm not, but like you know, Jasmine, they really recast Larissa as Jasmine now. I mean, like, yeah. tell, me, tell me I'm wrong. It's, My husband it's thinks they really oh. want Jasmine to be the Angela slash. Um, no, that true. It true didn't have any kids with Vanessa. You know, they want her to be the Larissa Angela. Like, if they had a baby, it's Jasmine. <laughs> that's fucked up <laughs> <laughs> right. my husband wow. says that uh, Larissa carries it off better she does with you know, her, her shape and everything she's yeah. yeah. I'm like yeah I agree <laughs> you know and at least Larissa who couldn't stand cold I guess got away you know you have Jasmine still pumping you know because I guess you know to be to play devil's advocate I guess people who don't who don't like Larissa would say you know, she pumped all she could have out of Colt and then she left. But, you know, uh, Jasmine is not done pumping that Gino well because I don't know what Gino does, like some type of computer stuff. But this, uh, like the money that he has spent on this woman. Well, you know what? We're, we're jumping ahead. Hold on. We'll, we'll get to, we'll get there in a second. And I love that this this premiere episode was all fluff and we're only four, we're 47 minutes in and we've gotten through not even one and a half couples. So this is not good. Um, what else about Sophie and, and Rob? Do we, can we, can we? Oh, Sophie and Rob? No. Um, I don't know if they're, I'm assuming that they're, oh, they're trying, still trying to have a baby now. Yeah. We hate each other. We can't get along for more than 30 minutes. Let's have a baby. Because that fixes everything. Yeah, get a goldfish. So <laughs> Rob wants Sophie to move back home so that they can work on it. Really, what he wants is he do, he wants to get her away from Kay. Yes. Because <laughs> he's mean, not want, a fan I'd of Kay. Want him, I'd want her away from Kay, too, because, you know, Kay's got that scissor action. You know. <laughs> Strap on. <laughs> Definite strap on. And the way they're like laying in the bed, like looking at each other, I go, either they they just scissored or they're about to. Like that's the first thing I said when I I don't know them. I didn't watch their season. So hmm. um okay, so can we move on to the next couple? Or are we Addy, do you have anything else? Yeah, I mean if, if she doesn't go back home, then they're not gonna be working through stuff. That's his motto. And she won't let him go. She ends up leaving she walks off on him you'll notice this entire season she's gonna do a lot of walking off she just and both leaves. of you watch last season with them on like yes mm -hmm. Wait, but, yeah. i watched a little bit but well, I... that's the whole thing well scissored is past tense verb you know scissoring well to scissor the art of doing that <laughs> i'm trying to think of like um yeah scissors a verb and a noun um, <laughs> like you know, just had a hot day with Cody and we scissored. That's past tense. Mm. Yeah, it's still a verb. It could be a verb. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hip squeak. Yeah. <laughs> Kay said she takes better care of him than Rob did of her than Rob did does. So. <laughs> so can we move on to Nicole and Mahmoud? Oh, good lord. I mean, yes. Okay, so first off, I just, Cody, come here for, wait, give me, give me, you guys can, talk about, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 so, wait, wait, you guys ex just talk a little bit more about uh, Sophie <laughs> and uh, Rob for one more hot second, because sure. I, I, I need a hot second. Hot second, okay. But Rob was a model, and I think that's what attracted to him 
to or them to each other. He's very handsome. Very, he, he's a very, very gorgeous. handsome dude. Ooh, gorgeous eyes. Yes. Now, um, he did tell her that none of the women were uh, back, that th these weren't backup options. I would have said. And I mean, he was like, you know, hey, I'm, you know, I'm, you're the one that I want. Ooh, 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 honey. Uh, sorry, couldn't uh, resist. Um, but see, but Sophie was from the UK. Like, it's not like she couldn't have been able to get in here. I know as far as, or from my knowledge of like getting here and staying here, it's very hard for the people from the United Kingdom because they basically want you to have a job that absolutely no other American. So if you're like, I am the fly swatter wing inspector <laughs> and no one else does that, then you're allowed to come to the U.S. Because you're my girl, Pineapple. But yeah, he, he's cute and I just, I don't know. Yeah, and he keeps saying, I'll, I, I, I can apologize all day long and you'll never accept my apology. But... And I, I don't, I have, I personally have not heard her accept his apology once, and he's apologized over. And it's usually, I already apologized. I already, I'm sorry again. <laughs> She's never going to accept his apology. Okay, Jules, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to slight the hive in any way, shape, or form. I leave for three seconds, and people, what, what happened? What I did, what I missed in three seconds? I just said fly swatter, and she said no fly swatters because they are known to kill bees. <laughs> And <laughs> so I'm sorry. I okay. always stick my foot in my mouth. I am truly sorry. Use a vacuum cleaner and just suck them up and then open it outside. <laughs> okay. No? Nicola, Nicola Mahmoud, Mahmoud just recently was, I guess, vindicated from the uh, DV or whatever charges that. So oh. he's clear on that one. So there's some tea on that. So, you know. Ugh. Nicole is back, right? You know, she just left the hideous haircut convention um, that she goes she to. Shorter. Like, I, I want to know who like gets the strong, hair who, color who, is who not attractive on cuts, her. And cuts Nicole's hair. Like, what? What is the the hair situation going on with Nicole? Because you know, so, I, I I like I, I I don't understand the hair. Like she's so into like fashion and like and she's very pretty too. Like yeah, the hair it's just her like, hair, oh good. Her hair God. during the during the scenes, I think her hair is really cute. But during the confessionals, oh, she looks like somebody got hold of her with, with, with her, mean, like it, a toddler. Yeah, she, she like it looks she, like she like she doesn't even have a gay best friend. I'm not. I'm going to say it there. I think she lets one of her friends. Take use, some, like, like, use a Flowbee on her hair. Remember the Flowbee? The vacuum that cuts her oh, hair? Is that what no, that, that's too good. I think she takes some <laughs> um, craft scissors. It was a vacuum that cut your hair. And I think she just picks up her hair up and just uh -huh. like just chop. Oh, and then she grabs okay. this side and goes chop. Cody and never, Cody like, never okay. heard of a Flowbee before. He, Cody has no idea what a Flowbee is. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like they, they don't work very well. Like the, yeah. The yeah, yeah I know what it is. They don't work. <laughs> a vacuum that like there was an attachment and like you cut your hair with it. And um I guess uh N Nicole is still very loyal to the Floby because that's the only thing that makes sense in my head is to that appalling look. Uh you know Yeah, I do. I Cody's think you know they're drunk. Oh she's, my god, you hear him? You know, she's <laughs> oh, that's a good little ground. Walmart, Walmart, you can oh. buy a Flobie at Walmart still. Now, so. It's okay, oh, John, you're in trouble. Here. <laughs> Someone sent me a Flobie for my birthday. I'll try it out on my own hair. We'll see how it works. What? $350. Oh, never mind. Don't send me a Flobie for my birthday. <laughs> Not $20 attachment. That's at Walmart. <laughs> oh my god yeah the floby i'm telling you it's a vacuum that cuts your hair no one's lying um so you nicole with her there's window. another 300 dollars one at, at a different walmart nicole with her floby hair like you know because <laughs> things went so well every time 
Oh my God, Jules, look, her parents love the Floby. So a used you one, one hundred and fifty <laughs> on eBay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna buy this no used Floby. I've never heard of this. Back <laughs> <laughs> it was very big in like the early '90s. Like they had infomercials for it, the wow. Floby. Really, we're really dating ourselves long. here, uh, but yeah, the Floby. So because things run so well with Nicole and Mahmoud, every time they've been together, What's she's run name? crying. She's What's you know, Mahmoud, 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 Mahmoud. Um, uh, but I mean, what I'll do? Okay. So this is the whole Mahmoud. Um, she's got terrible hair. He stole her credit card and uh, phone. And she's he's missing. That's it. They're done. I, I just real. I'm looking through my notes. Go. Wait a second. I totally didn't take any notes on them at all. <laughs> it's okay. There, there really wasn't much to say. They, they, they were really. It was really short with them. <laughs> um, uh, it was mostly her. Um, Trying in, in a consignment shop, trying to find him pajamas because he was sleep sleeping yeah. in what wool in bed, and she got scratched. So she <laughs> went to a consignment store to get him some pajamas. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. My first my first note is she just came from the terrible haircut store. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, if anybody needs a stylist, that girl needs one. Like. But her, but her hair looked good in the scenes, though. Not the oh, confessional. But she's got like this bright red bozo the clown looking terrible hairdo going on. Oh, it is not. I guess her. I should say that that was my. I'll show you. Want to see? This is that's my color hair. Look, wait. I'll show you. This is what I used to color my hair, because I used to be a redhead because I'm half Irish, and then I lost my red, and so I had to put it back in, and that. <laughs> But it's see, really that's bright. not the red that she has. No, it's she has the fine. red of your shirt. Yeah, it was red, red. And yeah. add a little more blue to it. I want to get that back. I'm going to go back with my red so I can be red once again. <laughs> I wish Brooklyn Girl was here because she is our resident hair hairdresser. Let me text her. <laughs> oh, we'd okay. like to. We would like to know your opinion on. Uh, I, I do. I really. I would like a professional. Seen hair and confessional hair, and I don't understand. Well, I guess that's that's something that drives me crazy. When you you see them in the scenes, and then in the confessionals, they look completely different. No, like, but MTT, your hair is not like that. Come on. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. I used my hair used to be red naturally, and then hormones decided let's just change yeah. it. So now you get that look. So. Yeah, because like my hair, when I was growing up, my hair was like Lucille Ball orange. Yeah. And then the older I got, the more brown picked up. Now this is like, I'm not going to lie, it's warm copper blonde because my hair pulls an awful lot of honey. Is that autumn sunrise? Autumn sunrise. And it's got some <laughs> low lights in it um, because the highlights are already coming through. Um, oh, the hair lady who did my hair last time, she had to stand way far back. Like, okay, so oh, I got it. <laughs> and she painted me from one end, like, and then when I'm done, everybody, their eyes were like, they kept, they, they were, I was like, is it bad? Is it bad? And she said, no, it's the prettiest color they've ever seen on somebody. They've never used that color before, but it, it looks really good in the sun. <laughs> but yeah, it's a lot. It took two hours just to paint. Put and why does she got to buy him like, you know, like used PJs? Like, really? You That's... can't go to like, you can't go to Kohl's? <laughs> like, you like, they got 30% like... off. I got certain <laughs> things that I will not buy and I, I will not use. You, I will mail you some Kohl's cash, sweetheart. Like, if you want to get like a fresh pair, like. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some Kohl's cash, 30% off. I mean, Riley, that's where he got his, you know, pearls. Did you get the autumn sunrise? Oh, oh Ray Chill did. Yeah, that's from Ghost. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, like, you know, like there's no like target by you that you can just buy like a nice clean pair of pajamas. I mean, was the. Oh. That's crazy to me. Like, yeah, there are some the things story. that I have my limits. Like, whenever I buy something, I always bring it home and wash it before I wear it. I'm not. 
you know, on most things. And I can't do hats from, from, yeah. Uh, no, I don't, <laughs> I, I I don't know how anyone could like buy underwear from, <laughs> yeah, no, I would have to scald it, bleach it, but leave it open bleach for five or six days and then still not wear them. And at that, like, no, I'm sorry. I wouldn't even wash my windows with them. Yeah, no. I would, yeah, I would use a little rag. Yeah, no, not at all. All right, so Nicola Mahmoud, you've got the terrible red hair. Um, and, you know, he's coming here, and we all know how that works out because he was just arrested, but now he's, you know, you know charges cleared. And um, I, I can't believe we have to watch them again. But, um, yeah. <laughs> you know the the part when like, with him leaving his mother was sad. Like you know they were, that that made me tear up a little bit. Um, because that was a, that was genuine and sad. So right. I felt bad for. But like he like the mom knows, he knows, she knows. Everyone knows that this is a disaster, and I don't know why they're still trying to perpetrate this marriage after four years of just failure. You know, you think him coming here is he's going to be like all different now? Oh, I'm in L.A. Let's make out. Wear a tank top, you know, uh, flash your titties. Like, you know, that's not going to happen. He's, he's still going to be the way he is. A leopard doesn't change their spots. And he, like that, that's it, it, him. Her thinking that, well, because we're in L.A. now, it's different because it's freewheeling. No, it's it's not. But whatever. It would be interesting to see how far he does make it. Well, obviously we know because there was problems. He ended up in the Cuscow for a while. Oh, but yeah, she says like, if he comes here, maybe he can, uh, he'll have to live, you know, my, I live what, do what I want. There I had to do what he wants. Here he has to do what I want. And that's going to work gonna... out real, real well. That, that's that's going to be, uh, this, yeah, as we can see, right? Yeah. Like, you know, he's already been arrested. Yeah, oh. I'm like, you know, what do these people expect when they come to the United States? I mean, seriously, you know, Jasmine's, oh, I thought we were going to be on a yacht. <laughs> no, you know, she didn't say yacht. She said jack. <laughs> jack. No, like, she oh, said judge. 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 <laughs> but it's I like, it. because you take these vacations within your vacations on the vacations, of course you expect a jot. A judge. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, no, no, whatever no, it is. We're not what? Jasmine yet. No, we have to do Ashley and Emmanuel, another couple that I didn't watch last season. Which um, I, I love know. her. <laughs> I love Ashley very okay. much. So I like her too. <laughs> okay, I, you know I didn't know much about her. You know she says that she you know she does she does spin classes and then she also is a part time witch. And she's into tarot and astrology. <laughs> I would no, her wording was, well, I'm a I'm a I'm a witch and I have to do tarot and astrology and I, I run spin cycle classes. I like how she saved the spin till the end. Um and again, I don't know any about Ashley Emanuel at all. I don't know their story, which is probably a good thing. So I could be like a little so so when they when they have um issues and they, they're arguing or whatever, they will end it um have a nookie to, <laughs> to fix the fight. They did that at, a, at one of the scenes in the restaurant. You probably may have seen a, the clip of it where they went into the restroom and <laughs> how do you how do you say that properly without <laughs> uh, they did the hippity bibbity. <laughs> and then yeah. And so the, the the part I loved is when this when they started, you hear him saying in 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 um spanish she's you're killing me you're killing me and you see this the hand movements and all this stuff is like this and he's like this <laughs> and then he's like oh dios mio voy a morir Ay, ay. <laughs> it says like in a bathroom at the olive garden <laughs> like these are in the no i think they were like maybe buca de pepo not quite the olive garden <laughs> not not the Capri room. Yeah, no, it, below the Capri room. You know, it's the uh waiting in the wings. But the, the voy a morir. Oh 
<laughs> and then and then they pan back and she's she's doing and there it's a spin like you said a spin class <laughs> that was perfect this is gonna end up being a really good season i love the way yes. they started off some of the start scenes like with um back to what's her name uh, so they, Emily, when she was in the bed with the rose. at the gap and like they're buying khakis and like they have a fight <laughs> and like you know then like he wants like you know bootleg cut and she wants like relaxed fit and like they go into the gap bathroom yeah and, pretty much what? go bang it out and... <laughs> yeah, that's how they solve their issues Oh, okay. Yeah. Since they were in a coffee shop, sorry, pineapple. They were oh, not. A coffee shop. Oh, yes, <laughs> you know, and we're not talking Starbucks. We're talking like, you know, Sour Patch, whatever the name of. I don't know. But <laughs> he's funny because he looks like he's about ready to pass out when he's on the spin class, and he's just like, you know, get me off of here. I don't want like the spin class. I'd rather be pounding it out. Versus on this bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because why? Well, I, I knew she said during the tell all that she'd lost 101 pounds. Yes. So now she's, so then she's teaching, it looks like she's teaching the spin class, yeah. which is pretty cool. So good for her. Very proud of her. But yeah, that was a good scene. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, their whole thing is. I'm not sure if you can see my eyes rolling this far back because I know my lighting is horrible, but. <laughs> uh, what but i mean their whole thing is you know okay we disagree we i think he's shady i think i don't trust him but let's go hibbity bibbity it out and we'll fight about this again tomorrow and we'll pound it out again tomorrow <laughs> when in doubt pound it out <laughs> that would be a great merch when in doubt, so, so he says he has two kids and her mom doesn't, she, she thinks he has more than that. <laughs> so that could be, who knows? He's very secretive. He doesn't let yes. anybody in his world. He right. Everything to himself. He's a closed book that she says yeah. she has to open. Like, oh, by the way, I'm sending $500 home to my family. What for? I already sent him 500 because they need 500 more. Just give me the money. You know, it's like, she's not an ATM, bud. You yeah, know? I don't know. No, she has and not. And then, like, you know, children yet. Uh, like, you know, and according to, like, the 90-day playbook, you know, you see, like, you know, the mother, not you know, not happy with it. Well, should we get a PI? Like, I was waiting. I'm like, she's going to ask for a PI. And, like, not five seconds later, <laughs> do I need to get a PI on this one? Like, oh, yeah. you know, it, uh, like... But, but you know, in this case, it's almost warranted. But I mean, you know, come on. With Google, these PIs are sitting back, charging you your 100 bucks an hour, and they're Googling, okay, so I found this, a secret Facebook account. Okay, well, it's not too secret if you found it then. So she's he, uh, he says the reason that she has not met the kids yet is because there's a lot of issues in Ecuador. And that she doesn't want to confuse the kids, or he doesn't want to confuse the kids, which I don't understand. I guess there's a lot of stuff going on. I, I don't watch the news, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't and know where kids, the words are. This isn't any of the past 20 women I've dated. This is your new stepmama. So just so call he's her Bay or whatever you need to call her. He's gonna drop it on, drop the bomb on them like he did his mom and made her cry. <laughs> mom we got married or mom we're getting married or whatever it was yeah but, uh, so she's never even like seen the kids nothing like you know via yeah. facetime or i guess she's happy that she knows about them and that's yeah. what he's like oh hey you know about them that's all you need to know who in their right mind would marry somebody with kids you don't even know about like oh uh, you like don't people like cross their T's and dot their I's no. before like they marry somebody? Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, like, who marries someone to say, oh, by the way, there's, I, I think he's shady AF. I think that he not a hundred percent forthcoming. And by the way, I'm a hundred K in debt. And I'm going to say uh, maybe student loans because she owns her own house. 
So I, I would I would assume so. Well. We're gonna find out. There's a lot. There's a lot he doesn't know about either. He's about to find out. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> she has how, her own little secrets. How was their like? You know, their portrayal. Like, are people like more on her side, more on his side? Like, where's it? Where's it found? People out? are her side because he is shady and secretive about everything. But she married the shady and secretive. right. But apparently, if you pound it out, it makes everything all better. So then, like, yeah. why do why do, why do you feel bad for her? that she married him? Right. She, so like she so like huh don't marry pound her. it out if in doubt pound it out don't so apparently him. he must be an amazing bed too or at least a willing participate in public places <laughs> she's probably the kind of girl who'd be like yo we're in the subway in new york come on we can like this seat back here is not taken <laughs> a field Totally see yeah, it. And she, she wouldn't thing. like Lysol it or anything. She would just like, okay. Looks like if there's a news me, that one. Bodie had two kids in Florida. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, hey, like, you know, am I going to meet your kids? And no, like, what, what are their names? I can't tell you. I'd be like, well, then fuck you. I'm not going to marry you. Like, I, like you know, what, 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 how's this going to lead out? I know Cody doesn't have kids in Florida before that fucking rumor started. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, it's just weird to me, but like you know, you marry him, just like what's her name? Uh, the one with the 24 year old, oh, heebity beebity, that one. What who is she? Nic um, what's her name? Um, shit, um, Sophie, Sophie married uh, Rob, right? With all his misgivings, and she was okay with it. And but you, you met, you walk down the aisle. You're on the show. You're making the money. You're making the money. Hey, Ashley Nicole, I haven't seen you in so long. <gasps> nice to see you, sweetheart. It's been a hot minute. I'm trying to put your name up. Well, yeah, there. she's saying that the words are on the street that the kids are already here. There it is. Go ahead. That the kids are already here and she's not allowed to talk to them. I think even if she didn't know about them, she still wouldn't be able to talk to them. I think they're they're going to be divorcing before she gets to talk about them. So and probably still never met them. One of the things that I that we kind of heard at the um, a little bit of a spoiler thing or whatever for the next for what's coming is that she finds out he has a lot of family in New York. Isn't that what she's? Isn't that what was said? At the end of that, so he's got, and she doesn't know about any. She doesn't know about any of his family. She just, I but think. <laughs> didn't they also say and again? I didn't watch last season that they were together for like ten years, like on and off or something like that. Am I wrong? Wait, I'm sorry. Say that again. Didn't Ashley say like that her and Manuel like were like on and off for like seven years or ten yes. years, something like that. Yes. So in seven years, I'll, I'll play low end. Seven years, like you still have no. They were together that. seven years. I knew Nikki yeah. and you know. And we're all supposed to sit here like drooling from our mouths, believing this. Like, oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's a little wild. No. Wicked, you're muted. I don't know if you know that. Oh, she goes, oh, you're eating something. What are you eating? You're, you're on the clock. You're on the clock, Wicked. I, I said no breaks. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how long these people I have been together while you and I'm fueled by Sour Patch. Let me let me get my demerit list. Wicked, that's one demerit for you. I'm going to put that down. Wicked, one demerit. Anybody who went to Catholic school knows what a demerit is. Uh, I'm full so aware of what a demerit is. <laughs> I just like to say that at least I muted myself so people can hear me chomping. So yeah, seven years to reconnect. Hmm. All right, all right. So um, are we good with them? Yeah, I just realized I did actually take notes on Nicole and Mahmoud. Oh, well, is there, was there something you wanted to add? No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I just I went. Oh, it's down there. Oh, I I, I combined them. Never mind. <laughs> okay, Gino. Uh. Oh. 
and Jasmine. Here comes the the jock. jock. <laughs> I want a jock. <laughs> I wonder if she was confused. Remember jarts? Lawn jarts? Like those those like those big giant things that used to stab little kids? Like those things? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wonder if she was confused. Maybe she was looking for a yard jart and not a yacht. Like those big giant like darts with giant needles that used to like stab little kids over and over again. <laughs> now, are you kidding me, Susie B? I would fart and be proud of it. I'm joking. We're, we're, we're a very classy You'll, show here, guys. In exactly. Case on that. Very, very, you know, upper echelon. I mean, you know. Bougie as possible. Um, I have got my bouge factor. We drink champagne twisties here in this household. But speaking of which, if you'd like to drink a champagne twisty at the House of Yates, that's going to cost you $40. Um, come in, $40 champagne twisty and a selfie by the rope bridge. Okay. Um, okay. I'm opening up the house for business. I'm uh, listen. I'm telling you, you could do Georgie on the back of your chair. Easy. Oh, and my own cat Georgie is its own celebrity now, which we'll get into the after show. Yes. Uh, but uh yeah, uh Georgie, my cat. Um, yes. The most handsome where is he? Oh, he's sleeping. Uh the is most spot? Cat, he's on the couch uh by the rope bridge. Yes, that's he. He uh, he's. I love it when when I was sitting there and he was all up in my yep, hair. Exactly, <laughs> exactly where he is. Uh, I can't even. Well, I don't know if you could see it. Yep, that's just. Yeah, I was sitting right there you on that corner, him. and he was all snuggling, snuggling in my hair. Yeah, he's there. The or little orange thing there. Uh, that's <laughs> Okay, so Gino and Jasmine are on. I think Georgie ha might have his own channel. He does, actually. And that's not through me, but we'll get there. Um... <laughs> I need to keep Gracie hidden then. We can't have her having her I own YouTube I'm channel. That person, right? Like, it's my cat's likeness and my cat. Right. I'm trademarking her. Well, I just saw that person. And that person, if she could afford, like, you know, never mind. Um, after the <laughs> show. So, uh, and Jasmine are on a boat, I guessing where, like, um, like Lake, uh, no, Lake, uh, that would be Huron. Huron? Is it, are they on Lake Huron? I don't know. Where's well, they're on their honeymoon. So I think they may have went to Florida. No, they were in Michigan. Oh, was, yeah. See, they said what it was. Oh, I can't. Is it Canton? No, Canton. It is Canton. Hold on, I got, I got, I'm pulling it up now. Oh yeah, that was definitely, that was definitely Lake Huron. Okay. And they probably said it, and I should have. I mean, it could have been oh, Lake no. Erie. Because it's kind of like in between Huron and Erie, so it it could have been like, but it's one of the two. Um, and Canton it has a population of 98,000. Um, so, okay. And they're there on the honeymoon. So when did they get married in real life? I don't know. Two months prior. Don't forget, guys, I stopped caring about this show like a year ago. And now <laughs> I think they're also two months. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I stopped reporting on it. Like, I haven't... I haven't watched it. I like, you know, I I really only reported on like OG cast members and not new people, especially Jasmine and Gino, who I can't stand um, at all. But uh, so it's been a hot minute. But I'll I'll I'll, I'll figure everything out again. Um, yeah, it was definitely Michigan, and it was their honeymoon. And you know, I don't know what kind of boat that was. What kind of boat were they on? Where, it was like a, one of those floater like bar, a pontoon, like a pontoon, pontoon type yeah. thing. So they got Actually, married in June. June. I wouldn't mind having one of those. So they got married yeah. in June. Okay, so so my ho whole point was that he wasn't going to go somewhere, you know, in prime season. Yeah, right. not a peak. He also was like, we, they spent too much money on the wedding. What? What? It was in the. <laughs> It was in the grass out by a tree. Oh, Maybe so it was like, her ten thousand dollar implants. I mean, those titties. Can we talk about them titties? 
like she's got a her ass. If they if they if, they, if the boat sunk, <laughs> she's the last. Oh, yeah. She, she, she'd have enough floating devices for the whole lake. Like, you know, just, yes. just hold on to part of Jasmine's titty. She'll, she'll keep you afloat. Like, you know, if only but Jasmine the, was on the Titanic, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio would have yes. still be alive. Jack the, Dawson you know, would still be here. Jack Dawson would still be alive if, if he was just holding on to her one of them titties towards the end. Yep, but she also float. has the butt, too. So would she actually <laughs> float this way? $10,000 butt. <laughs> Them boobs were more than 10. <laughs> hey, LaDonna. Hey, LaDonna. Yeah. Uh, like, okay. Like, she, you know, she, she's she's a quilt with all the work she's had done to her. Like, you know, there's... They did look newer. Yes, they looked quite squeezed in there. Yeah, because she can't go any further or else she's going to be on botched. going to be... <laughs> oh. So, on the boat, she's still not happy um you know they just got married this is our honeymoon and you know they're on either lake erie or lake huron one of those two uh places and it's cute and they're hot and then they go and again i mean how much did she bankrupt him because then they go to co the koa <laughs> <laughs> she she first first she wanted she, remember her, her whole this whole thing is what are they trying to do now that this is part of what she was what they were talking about. She's she wants to start making a baby because she she said it at the very first part. We have to start making a baby because I'm ovulating today. But then <laughs> she also said, by the way, guys, she wants to yell at Gino every day and, and, and cry. But then she's waiting to say, by the way, Gino, I might not be able to get pregnant. And I struggle yeah. with it. And <laughs> the reason why Gino and his ex-wife didn't work out because she couldn't have a baby, right? Oh, so Jasmine had fertility issues. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Guess she's going to have to pay for, like, the IVF and all that drama. Who? Yep. Gino. So, because, I mean, not looking good. I mean, you know, she doesn't want to have a child, A, based on her age, because I think the older you are, the greater the possibility. She already has one child on the spectrum. Now she has fertility issues. Yeah, she's she's going to have to find someone to tote a baby for her. I, but she's okay. She just keeps collecting. She, I think Gino is also writing the, <laughs> which I think is why he's going to be a great dad for the little boy. I think so. Oh, I think no shade. I think, I think so. I mean, but yeah, I think he made it. And I think, he made it very well known that this was like a deal breaker in the relationship. And, and Jasmine was, told him oh, whatever. Later because he met her on a hooker site, let's not forget. And now four years later, she's been telling him, oh, I'll give you, I'll, I'll pump you out a baby. And now when they, pr they probably try, it's not going to happen. And then he's going to have to pay more money. And let's not forget the other two kids that she feels that she neglected in Panama that are that are sister and their dad and the mother's watching. So, I mean, so Gina, I don't like, like this is every time with Gino and Jasmine, it gets more far fetched and more far fetched. I mean, like, it's not even like 90 day fiance. It's like days of our fucking lives at this point. It really is. Like I, I keep waiting yeah. for Erica Kane to come out and slap her across the goddamn face. <laughs> That'd be nice. I feel okay with that. Wait, Erica was all my children, wasn't she? Sorry. You get my idea. Um, <laughs> the other one, Billy. <laughs> oh, what, Lisa Renna? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, she certainly has Lisa Renna's lips, doesn't she? <laughs> yes. No. I mean, like, in comparison, Jasmine's lips are probably bigger than Lisa Rena's. They're, they're, they're out there. I, 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 maybe like Kim Zolciak size, I would yes. say. Because so, Lisa's can't be dissolved where all these other people can be dissolved. So do I, Susie. I, I don't get that whole thing with the lips, like, you know, being puckered out. Like, mine, mine do that by you themselves. You look like an inflatable <laughs> doll that, like, like, that's what you look like to me. Like, right, like, like, God. Like, ooh, I, I, do you think people are going to be like, you know how when you look back and like, I look at back at my, you know, yearbook pictures in the 80s and I'm like, wow, I had a lot of hair. 
you know, what was I thinking wearing, you know, because Princess Di made the prairie outfits, you know, all the rage. So why did I think wearing a prairie dress and now they're going to have all these pictures where they're, you know, like, you know, with all the contouring now, like, you know, I graduated high school in 97. I know I'm, I know I'm the youngest here in the bunch, but I graduated in 97. So, like, I look at my, in like, this is before, like, face contouring and, like, you know, the Botox and, like, people were, like, themselves. And, like, you know, and, like, it's teenagers are doing it. And I, 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 I don't know. Like. Because it's it, all about the pout. It's like, Right. If I had a daughter, and they're like, they're like, I want to blow my lips up. I'm like, you could blow on a fucking balloon right now. That, and that's what you could blow up on. But then that's it. I, I just like, you know, you're still developing. I don't understand it. Like, you know, you, you're still growing. I, I I don't know. Jasmine clearly has stopped growing a while ago. And, you know, she is just a different person altogether. Thanks to the whole. And the, that's why she's with him still. That's why she's still on the show. Because look, look, look at Jasmine. And like I, I'm sure that maybe like probably like eighty percent of the work that she's got was for free. Easy. No, you really think? Yeah. She goes. Uh, didn't she say? Who did she say? She she and Nikki go to the same doctor. Abs absolutely. You know why? Because the bigger the name, the, the bigger the name is, and they show and they. That's why like they go. You see them like you know at the doctor's office. Oh, look at me getting like some like needles in my face. Oh, uh, that's like the advertisement for like the doctor or the anesthetist or whoever is doing that for them. And I, I've known a lot of cast members from the show and uh, I can tell you that they've all paid this. That's a big fat zero for the work they've gotten done. Uh, I can understand why people do that stuff though. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm thinking about some duct tape on the back of my neck. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get some magnets. I, I, some, mag, some really some heavy duty magnets and pull my shit together. Um, I, what I love, like I would love to get rid of, like you know, my my bags and like my crow's feet. If I had a choice, that's what I would get fixed. And oh, LASIK, because that would be nice to see without anything. Yeah. So those are my three things. No, you know what? I probably wouldn't get LASIK because I don't trust lasers by my eyes. I'm sorry. I'll, I, I would, also, I'll they say my, even I'll when you get LASIK, you contacts. still have to have reading glasses. Did you know that? Wait, what? Yeah, if you get LASIK, you probably still have to get reading glasses. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of like lasers in my like my eye. Like my biggest fear is going blind. So like I I don't know if I would I would do that, but I would definitely get like the bags and I would definitely yeah. want a, little, a little tightening here and get. Rid oh of yeah, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, but like yeah. you know, any plastic surgeon watching or you know, hey hey hey. Yeah, hundred percent. I'll, 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 I'll hoard your practice out every day if you want to get yeah. it free. Hundred uh, <laughs> percent. I would do lip fillers just to, you know, because oh, I, I got my oh, father's Lord. lips. <laughs> You're already going down the wrong path, Wicked. I can't. No, no, no. Because I would do, you know, just to like make them. So, uh, like, Annie has beautiful lips. I'm jelly of your lips. So if I my lips could look like on me and look natural, I would. I would do Botox. No, I'm not hating. No, me, I'm not hating. I promise you, I'm not. Oh shit! Wait, no wait. I, yeah, don't be coming after the Yorkie I, Mama Club. I would love, you know, guys don't get lip fillers, a eh? right. So like, that's not, and I, I've always had very pouty lips. You know, I've had girls say like, John, I'm jealous of your lips. I'm like, well, it's too bad. Uh, but like, I, I don't need lip fillers. I would, I would just want, and I would get work done if it was handed to me. Absolutely. <laughs> you, you think I'm, <laughs> come over, give me a fucking facelift if you want to make me look 25 again. I don't care. Like, I'm not dogging it. I'm just right. saying that, like, this is what happens when you're on this TV show and, you know, all these, you know, and they're up and coming people like, you know, they're not like, you know, you don't see Terry Debro doing this for free. Right. You yeah, see, no. like, people wanting to make their way up the ladder. Like, if they give some free work to some, like, you know, low key celebrities, then it, it boosts up their 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 following, their clientele. And, and, and that's my point. Uh, but I, I mean, just think know. of all the hookers that Jasmine can bring into a practice. <laughs> I don't even know what button I just hit. You know, you know what we need here. You know what we need. 
a teeny tiny shot. Teeny, teeny, tiny shots you give yourself every day. And what it does is, is hey, wake up. Give me the, you know, what I used to have, that human growth hormone that, that used to flow through my body and is now just stuck in my pituitary. Get it running through my whole body so I can have great skin, great hair, great... There we go. <laughs> I played that longer than usual. I know you did. I'm shocked. Shocked, <laughs> I say. But dang, like you want, you want to come and give me some work? I will be. I will whore myself out every day for your practice. Like you want to fix my teeth? I'm good with that too. Like I will. Yeah. Listen, I will. I, I will do whatever it takes. I'm not. There's no shame in my game. I'm just saying, like this is what happens in this community. That like you know, stars come up. Um, whether you're a doctor, a anesthetist, a plastic surgeon, like whatever, they they want to have like people from TV shows, and you you do good work on them. So it's it's it's, and you see them on TV. I mean, it's the best advertising ever when you think about it. And then they say on the show, well, Doctor Obang did this, and Doctor Smith did right. this, and you know, and now they're getting mentioned on national TV. You know, so that's why that yeah. happened. I mean, look at Florian, Darcy, or you know, Stacy and Darcy's husband. I mean, hell, they got new teeth now. They've had, they well, have they fillers had go, they had and lips. Turkey. They, had, they had to go to Turkey for the teeth. They, they got some turkey teeth. Well, you know, <laughs> that was one of my favorite scenes when <laughs> Stacy's calling and showing Florian her teeth, <laughs> shark teeth. <laughs> but hell yeah, yeah. that's classic yeah. TV. Mel B, I love says, you, honey. Mel, Mel, Mel B says from my chat, she said, where is it? She says, but you also have to be careful because like, you don't know, like all these up and comers who are giving you all this free work. You don't know like how trained they are. Like, you know, people see that as like, you know, oh, look, free work. And then they might be putting like, you know, cement in your cheeks. Right. Like, the, like the cat lady that weird, remember that lady who had like got the cement in her cheeks and stuff like that? Oh. Like, you know, horrible. <laughs> Like people have Botox parties and like I told my niece because my niece turned 30 yesterday and I told her, I said, you know what? I said, I'm very like, she's a very non-modern kind of girl because, you know, like I was like, your hair looks re really pretty. I think she might color her hair, but then she had some like natural highlights going through and I was like, your highlights look fantastic. She was like, I don't highlight my hair. And so we're, her mom and I are laughing because we're like, oh, no, it looks highlighted. She goes, well, it's just natural, but she doesn't do the Botox. She doesn't do any of the fillers. And she was like, that's just not me. And my cousin's ex-wife, she's like, oh, but if I get the Botox now, when I really need it, I'm not going to need as much. Why? Because your muscles have been paralyzed their whole life. So they don't... <laughs> Just yeah. do what I do and just go with resting witch face. <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't worry about your forehead. Oh, oh, oh I want to get. I, 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 there's two parts that I really thought was funny in this whole Jasmine thing. <laughs> oh, oh, getting the boat thing was when she when she tells him we get, that she wants to do it. She wants to make the baby in the bottom of the boat. He's like out here on the lake, <laughs> or whatever. The, and, well, he, and, like you know, she wanted to do it like on the back of the boat, and he's like, yeah. "Oh no, you know, we can do it here in the bottom of the boat." <laughs> and then she asks him, "You know, did he bring? Did he bring the blue pills?" <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "Hey, can you take two? And I'm like, "Three." Oh, that's dangerous. Don't she's do that. Like, yeah. She's like, she was said really he dangerous. needs to take three. She's like, do I have to piss in your mouth again to get you hard? Like, you know, what do I have to do here? Oh, is that too much? I mean, oh, does John, she that, realize John, that limit, taking John. more isn't going to make it last longer? I don't know. I've yeah. never. Oh, he's only pissing in the mouth. Never had to take it you know. Viagra before. I've never had to take one, so I don't know. You just um, you, 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 three, three. That's not. No. Yeah, no, it's too much. Too much. Three <laughs> could give him heart failure. So as you're in the middle of it, he's gonna drop dead. Then that wouldn't that be a fantastic scene? She they said, died during sex. She, Remember <laughs> on Private Benjamin, <laughs> Goldie Hawn. Yes, she I said, remember. <laughs> she said the only time that they were gonna, the only thing that would break them up would be death. 
Remember? Right is right. She, we already saw her with a knife, and now she's talking about three blue pills. She should have been dressed as like the Grim Reaper during that scene, like with with the, the black thing and the sky, like that, like you know, like you know, the only thing that will separate is death, like you know. Like, oh, 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 oh. Um, but uh, yeah, and, I mean, like, listen, I have no shame against anybody who's getting Botox or whatever. Like, oh yeah, no, not here. I don't think people like less than eight or. Like teenagers, I don't think should get anything done to themselves. I think they should wait, you know, because they're still growing. And yeah. uh, I don't know. I, I, but, you know, hey, listen, you want to give me some shots? I'm just jealous because I don't have, you know, I don't have them. Let's be real. I'll, I'll take them. <laughs> you start I'm... getting older, you, your lips kind of start to go. So, I, I, I yeah. Then you I mean, Jasmine up... needs to make sure that. <laughs> You know, she doesn't Anna Nicole it. She needs to make sure she's in the will. <laughs> if you do that at, at the age, at a young age, what happens when you are older and your lips are used to being, you know, full? And then they start I used to have a top lip. Now I don't. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't wait for that meme to be posted like tomorrow. <laughs> oh! You I did. Open, it. I just, did oh, the you just open the door on that one. Uh, <laughs> hey, Terry. No, it's no problem. Um, but um, I did we? You know, we got to get to the campground. We got to get to the campground. Okay, so they're at the campground, the KOA. And you know, I've never been camping in my life, not once. Like you know, it's like an it's RV fun. park. Cody, it's fun. Come here, KOA. She's so awful. Um. He was like telling me all this about KOA uh, beforehand, but like you know, so they she he brings her to a campground and um, they had to put this tent together, which he can't figure out. I thought they'd be at least in like in our in an RV, right? But no, uh, or cabin. Was, yeah, uh, uh, but no, Gina's like, no, we're gonna do it like we're, we're gonna rough it. <laughs> does she? And, does he really think her implants are gonna sleep on the ground? I mean, how uncomfortable would that be? I feel like when she's laying down, like her implants kind of float, like her titties are just like kind of mm -hmm. up there. Oh, they stay there. Like they don't like, move to like, the sides. They're like they're right like there. Chin, My like natural Gino's, ones like do. Stick isn't. do. Like I see like, I see like, like um, Jasmine's tip just being like straight up in the air laying down, like <laughs> how she wants Gino's dick to be when he, when he, when he's taking the blue pills. So I, I don't know. Uh, but oh, she probably can wrap her legs like around her head and just sit like that. <laughs> okay, but there's there's scenes. There's so many like, good oh. scenes in this. There's so many good scenes. Like when she's in the thing and she tells the guy, or she walks into the talk to the lady and she says, "We're here for our uh, honeymoon. We just got married two months and ago." And they're like, so, "That's a first. That's a first. <laughs> okay." And then, and then he takes them outside and shows them the shower. And she turns to him, she turns to Gino and says, I just got three vaginal infections looking at the shower. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those showers weren't that bad, though. But, Her facial um, expressions were, were great. That was a good line. <laughs> Oh, and then she gets down to the to the water. So I got to get you to the to the tent. And she gets down and goes, "Isn't it beautiful? Look at this beautiful lake. You want to go in there?" And she goes, "No, we can't go in there. There's cocodrilo." <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "What?" <laughs> She's trying to say cocodril, which means crocodile. <laughs> she says, "There's no <laughs> crocodile here." <laughs> but I I'm just like, "Oh, she is." I she drives me crazy. But when she gets going, she's actually. Kind of she, there's a lot of good stuff that comes out of her and good. And I don't mean like good, good, but <laughs> good, good. She, she's very witty when, yes. yeah. But can we just get through one episode where she doesn't cry and lose her shit? No, no, because it's coming down to, she, she, she's already said the only thing that's separating them is death. I'm telling you, this it's going to be the end of the far. season. I just wonder what the neighbors are going to think when she lets out that blood curdling scream like Jason just entered the tent. She is Jason Wicked. <laughs> the, the campers run. That is Crystal Lake, bitch. 
fucking <laughs> Curtis and Kyle Richards are running away from her. Have you seen that? That is Jason. Yeah, no, like the campers no, wait, are no, wait, running, no, wait, wait, and wait, then sorry, when I they ask stop. her what's wrong, I mixed you up know, Friday her boobs Halloween. were against sorry. his chest. I mixed up Friday the 13th and Halloween. I'm sorry. That's, that's a, my bad on that one, but like the, the I think my point still plays. <laughs> I haven't seen either one of those. I have. I, I don't do horror, and I haven't either. But I, I, I should have known about it. I know that Jason's camp. I saw the Friday the Thirteenth one, Probably. but you know, just like nope. ba basically a serial killer with a hockey mask. I was raised. Yeah, that's, that's you don't watch that stuff. Coming. I and Jason's horror. pretty much the same thing. Yeah. So serial killers hiding behind masks. Yeah. I'm okay with that kind of stuff. Serial killers and, are fun. Yeah, and um, some childhood trauma. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, anything else with Gino and Jasmine? So, uh, I got past the coco drill, so <laughs> there we go with that. I just had to sit there and say that about 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, no, no, no. Well, she says she. Uh, I'm just. Gonna, she says she's not liking it because the mosquitoes are biting her. But she says she's going to try camping if Gino tries to make a baby tonight, because she is Which ovulating she today. So she says. So she says she needs Gino. Or she says she needs Gino and his fish. And like you know what, like. Oh. I will be 45 in a few days. When's my birthday? It's not my it's my subtle way of reminding nine you. nine days. Nine days, yes. Nine days. Okay. In yes, nine I'm calendar days. days. Not Journey. business. Calendar days. Journey 45 now. Like I wouldn't even want to have a kid now at 45. I wouldn't. Like, you know, I just feel like you're kind of like past that point. And like, you know, Gino's 54. So like if, if and when they do have a kid, you know, he'll be 72. Say it happens right now, which it won't, right? Right. So say it happens when he's 56. So 56 and 18. So he'll, so Jesus Christ, 56 plus eight. Wait, he's drawing Social Security. He'll be 74 when that person graduates high school. If he's still alive by then, yeah. Jasmine hasn't choked him out or something. <laughs> and you know, Jasmine is taking like years off his life every day he's with her. So there's that. Um, see it in I, I can't even questions. imagine if I had like, if, if I won mega millions tomorrow and I, and I had the, the means to like, you know, do the IVF and all that stuff and, and have a baby. And I, I, I don't even think I'd want, I, I feel like I'm like too past the point at this point at 45 to like i don't know i'm not a spring chicken anymore and i like you know and i've always wanted to be a dad and gina i guess gina wants to be a dad too but um i i just don't see it happening and yeah. you know but do you um, stop and do you, does he stop and think i'm will i see my child grow up i'm 44 right now rita i'll be 45 in a couple of weeks nine days less than a couple of weeks but yeah yeah, I, you know, I just, and and that's something he needs to think about, you know, in a very realistic way, you know, there is one day that he's not going to be there, but is he going to, how old's the child? If it, based on Jasmine bath, bath I mean, might be three, four months old. Yeah, and when Rita, when I'm worth billions of fucking dollars and I could afford a team of nannies, like, and like, I don't do any, then yeah, like, that's Robert De Niro's fault. Like, you know, then, like, he wants to keep dating like young women. Well, that's on him. Like, I, I have no sympathy for him. Like, nope, don't like, you know, and that's unfair. Like, you know, to have a kid at 80 is unfair to that child because they're never right. And that's what I'm saying, you know. Is your child going to pass when you're small and, you know, when they're young enough to where they're really not going to remember you? Or are they going, you know, at what Rita, point? Rita, I don't know. If, I don't know if you're, you're, you're making your argument worse by you upping the age every time. I'm just saying, like, 
most people no, I mean, die. Most people die in '83, and like you're at, the, you're lucky to see '83. Like a lot of with right. cancer and like all, everything else that's going out there. Like right. you know, you're lucky to to see your '80s. Like you know, Betty White was a hundred, man. She didn't want to be popping out a kid. To have a kid at '83, like okay, so at eighteen, you're ninety nine, and okay. Like you, you're shortchanging your child, like of um, right, and you know I've been shortchanged by parents, and it sucks. So I, I would never want that for anybody. Right, and I don't think that that's something that he has considered. Who Gino? Yeah, you know, fifty four. I mean, like, listen, it's still. He could still do it. Like, you know, if he's healthy, you know, it's fine. I mean, but Hugh Hefner could have still had kids. It's, I, I don't know. Um, Just because you can have them doesn't mean you should. No, coffee, I get that. But, like, if you die at a young age, it's a tragedy, right? It's like, you know, it's before your time. You shouldn't have died. I get that. You know, but when you are having kids at 80 years old, 83, 75, like, you know that, you know, you're like a stone's throw away from St. Peter at that point, right? Yeah. So that's, there's a difference there, you know? If someone dies at a young age, like, it's it's horrible. You know, you, you, you die. And, and that's saying that the child is healthy and has, you know, nothing wrong with them, you know, and the amount of birth defects increase significantly. The and older you get. Like, go, like, on this, you know, cook, any, anybody could die anytime, right? Like, you know, you could be like a 10 year old walking down the street and have an air conditioner fall on you. It's a tragedy. Anybody could die. Right. No one promises you, promises you tomorrow. Like you have no idea what's going to happen to you. God forbid you get into a car accident, a plane, you know, a, a plane crash. Whatever. Eaten by a polar bear. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, so there's that. Um, you know, those are tragedies. Like, look at poor Garrison, right? Yeah. Um, but I don't, you know, you're supposed, I don't know. I, no, I understand. I, I get it. I understand. I, I had my there's 11 years between my two boys. I had my second one. We only have two boys, but I, I was 36 with him. And I'm, right, I well, cried. What do you mean? My mother, I cried. 30, my mother was 33 when she killed herself. And, yeah. um, I could have had, if, if that, if, if, if everything went right in, in my family and, um, I mean, 33 is very young, right? Yeah. You know, and my mother, could have had like three or four more babies, right? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But it was a tragedy and it happened and, you know, she died at 33. Um, she wasn't supposed to die at 33, but that's that's right. That's how that played out. So I, I, I have less sympathy for people and like, like, like Robert De Niro and Al Pacino who want to have kids in their 80s. Like for me, like, you know, you're, you, you don't, how could they possibly care about that kid? Like, you know. Right. And it's shitty, in my opinion. That's all. We get it. Well, this this got deep real quick. <laughs> I don't even know how we got here. Truly. <laughs> this got real deep real fast. Um, I think we uh, covered everything about all of that. Because we already talked about all of the other stuff. So. Um, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> that, 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 was, that turned dark, man. Uh, but I mean, it's 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 you know, but it's 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 noteworthy, note note noteworthy to be said because you know. Well, I, I he honestly isn't. You know, I think it's it's ingrained in us to you grow up. You want to have children. You want to have the two point five kids, the picket fence, the you know, the dog and the cat, and you know. It's ingrained in you, but it, it's okay if it's not. 
I mean, it can't, it took me a while to get to that point, but I'm okay with it. I mean, my life has worked out the way that it has. You know, my mom has some health issues and I'm able to be her caregiver. You know, it works out very well. Yeah. I mean, I know there are a lot of people that want to be parents out there that never got the chance to be me being one of them. Um, but you know, those are the cards that are dealt to you. And, um, but see, I have small children in my life. You know, I've got my two nieces, you know, their children, I've got five godsons. So I've got like a lot of little kids around me. So if I get my, you know, baby fever, but I'm like, no, baby. okay, now come back. I mean, like I have, I have that too, but like, they're not yours. Well, I know, know, but that doesn't mean that I love them any less. No, no. I would take a not. bullet of for those not. children. Right, of course you would. Of course you would. As I would for mine. Um, but then I'm at the end of the day, honestly, I'm like, whoop, whoop, I get to go sleep in. Don't have to wake up. Don't change poopy diapers. I have all this. I'm set. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, okay, well, I didn't know this live was going to go down this road, but, you know, it's, it's always okay. something. It's always we, something. We got to think of a name for this. Like, it's a U-turn when things are good. Um, this could be just like a left turn. Maybe right. I don't no, know. Listen, I, I, it was I, a merge. I, I like all tangents. I like, um, <laughs> you know, that's the beauty of these lies because we talk about stuff that's on TV and then we, we make it relatable to real life stuff that real people are going through. And, and at this point we've been on almost as long as the episode. And I can't believe it. because I really <laughs> thought that this lie was going to last 20 minutes because there was nothing on this episode, but here we are at almost a two hour mark. And, um, uh, <laughs> Dra so, dramatic. <laughs> well, that's my middle name, isn't it? Uh, so, uh, with that all being said, um, hopefully, we see Lauren and Alex last uh, next week. Uh, Alex looks tired. He looks. He look. Alex looks. Yeah. I think the three kids are like you know. He, he looks. Well, they've got three under three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was. Yeah. Like, Lauren popped him out. I, like, I think there could be another one on the, coming because the facial expression she gave when he said, "We want no more children," she went. <laughs> like, uh oh, what's that gonna mean? But I'm, I'm hey. really, really happy to see Lauren back on the show. Um, you know, she's an OGer. I love my OG. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love Laura. I love both of them. Yeah. You know, and, I think and, TLC was like, okay, we got to pay them a lot of money because this series is tanking. So we need someone who is a legitimate couple. And they're genuine. Laura yeah. and That Harry are genuine. Are that are going to pull these people back in and listen to the other people who are nonsense. So, um, and I've been talking to Lauren for years since her first season. So I'm really excited to see Lauren yeah. bounce back. And like fun fact about Lauren lived in the same building as my dad and oh uh, really Clark. yeah oh, that's and, fun and i found that out because i would look at her her ig stories i'm like that building looks so familiar and i'm like is this your address and she's like how do you know that i'm like oh okay <laughs> i'm like my dad lives in your my dad my dad lives in your building uh so and i'm gonna call it right now nikki exotica is gonna be on the next single of the sing season of the single life who the fuck is that it was the trans from the last uh, with, Igor. Uh, Nikki yeah. and Just Justin, more. also known as and, Forgive Igor. me if I'm wrong, but doesn't she already have a million followers, that Nikki person? I, she has a lot of followers. Yeah. Sure. But you were on the show, like, you know, and that's why I have the biggest issue with, like, all these new cast members and why I don't follow them and why I don't care. Is because all these new people on the show have already have a big giant following and they're just trying to promote their brand even more. And that's one of the reasons why I've had a big issue with this show because now they're just hiring actors to be on the show. Right. That. Well, you know, she's the million dollar Barbie and she's got that burgeoning uh, singing career. Wait, Barbie, you saw a clip of who on Judge Judy? Who? Nikki? 
Let me, I think. And oh. send it to me now. <laughs> Rita says her followers are bought. <laughs> okay. We can do that? I think the only two people with over a million followers are Darcy and Pal, which are deserved because they've been around forever, right? Um, oh, so Nikki has, a, oh, Nikki was on Judge Judy. Nikki <laughs> <laughs> Exotica. Whoa. Oh, man, I need to see that clip uh, <laughs> straight away. Uh, but yeah, um, well, this was a fun re kick off to the recap we've gotten to some yes. stuff and um let's see what next week brings i'm hopefully it's to... a little bit more interesting but god forbid we'll be on here for 14 hours well i have a feeling when angela and michael scenes come up i'm gonna it's going to be yeah. a little bit longer than expected so yeah uh, <laughs> I'm, I don't know if it was edited to keep them a little longer later, but, you know. All right. We'll all see. right. So let me end this. And then what time is it? Oh, it's, all right. It's 11. So give me. So wait for the after show because I got to say a couple of things. Uh, <laughs> give me like 15 minutes. I'll set up the after show now. And um, again, it's middle tier, 90 fiance level and up. And um, again, happy birthday, MCT. Happy birthday to you. Happy I need to get birthday. Birthday. Happy happy birthday. Birthday. I need to add some stuff to this stream yard like a uh, Happy birthday, dear crafting <laughs> with MCT. Happy birthday to you. Uh, it was funny. When we were singing happy birthday yesterday, I was holding the newest uh, member of our household. And like, we sounded awful. And I'm like, we promised to be better by your first birthday. <laughs> I had to do my list. It just needs awful. work. So creative, di creative di director is definitely MTT. Uh, but to be fair, they had been drinking press, since 1030. So. Press secretary you know, is Susie. Kuhl. In honor of St. Patrick's Day. I, I think I told Addie that you are the chief technical officer. Um, is what I what I the 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 title I gave you. CTO. Me? No, we can, we can. I don't know what your title is yet. Um, he said uh, me. Yeah, we're gonna. Have <laughs> I had to, to ask him what he meant. Yeah. He said something like CTO or something or other. Yeah. Just so like you know, next time like when the board meets, like so we all know our title. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I'm a little offended <laughs> that I don't have a title yet. I don't even know what a CTO is. <laughs> You'll get one. And, I mean, you know, um, at I, least I make me the dean of something. Dean of what? I don't know. I'm not running a college. Dean of what? We have the fighting tampons. Don't go there. <laughs> I'll make you dean of discipline. Is that what you, would you like that? <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, y'all. For those of you who are members, I will see you in a few minutes. And for those of you who are not, I will see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Thank you for a great live. Bye, everybody.